Subscribe to join us and our travels as we share our life on the sea. Arbrek Island is a beautiful little island, a great place to have a little stop on our way back to Sarong. Tara had some things the kids had outgrown and gave them to the local kids. They were stoked. to Sarong. Uh, we left Arborek this morning. Hey! <laughs> we left Arborek this morning and uh, we got in before dark which was amazing because we had a bit of current and you know anyway. We just got here and we just got a special delivery from Chuck of Carissi. Chuck and Charlie came over with this <laughs> massive pizza. Uh, dinner is sorted. But look at the size of this thing. <laughs> so uh, thanks Chuck and Charlie. Look at that. It's amazing. And Taj, get into In it, Australia, mate. we used to have a Bigfoot, which was about that. It's like four Bigfoots. All right, day one of provisioning here, and it hasn't been so successful. It's been successful. We've got all of our fruit and vegetables, but I hopped out of the BMO today, and it had a jagged, rusty door, and my heel collected it. And it won't stop bleeding. We don't know if it needs stitches. The crew wants me to we get a... We do know that it needs stitches and he needs a tetanus shot. No, I don't. The captain doesn't like needles. So, see how this plays out. Sarah's going to hit me with a bit of uh, hydrogen peroxide. I'm going to turn the camera off while I cry. And we'll then see. I'll turn it back on. My eyes will be a little bit watery because I'm tired. And here's a gin and tonic to his uh, I mean, I'm, There's I'm, one person on the I'm, boat that's supportive I'm, here. Uh, a little bit nervous, but... Uh, <laughs> but one of the main reasons <laughs> why we don't want to go to the hospital, or I don't want to go, apart from being having a phobia of needles and Sarah's playing with a syringe as we speak, <laughs> is that COVID uh, is uh, rampant at the moment and it is everywhere in Sarong and it is a red zone and we don't want to be near a hospital, or I don't anyway. So Dr. Sarah here is getting a bit of peroxide and... Um, all right, so we already cleaned it up. He had blood all over his foot. He had, um, the boys did well, they went to the shop. They bought these dead old wipes and some band-aids. So they cleaned it up pretty much straight away. Ah! Sorry. 
Are you serious? I haven't done anything yet. I'm just taking the band-aid off. Warning, if blood and cuts makes you uneasy, you might want to skip ahead five minutes. It's all good, so, it's healed up. Check out my barbecue. It's good, isn't it? <laughs> okay, you're going to have to put your foot It just way. may hurt. Oh, no, do you I'm really need to do it? No, it won't hurt. It's okay. Um, Lee? <laughs> um, so how's the old thing Do you want to bite down on something? How good was Jacob? Oh, here, bite the, bite the barbecue knob. <laughs> <laughs> I saw, um... <laughs> You're very tough, babe. I'm really proud of you. He's on. I'm about, I'm I'm about to start. <laughs> It's not on yet, Dad. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's just water. The old verbal placebo effect. <laughs> She's just splashing out. It's about to hurt. Sunshine and lollipops <laughs> and rainbows. Can and milkies. I think it Do was a milker. I think it was a milkies, yeah. Oh, it's bleeding on the other foot. <laughs> I was a spurt and over there. <laughs> I'm joking, I was a tart. It was a tart. It was a tart. Well, I think you should get a milk cake as a little candy treat. Yeah. Yeah. I'll get you a lolly because you've been a good boy. You're real bad. Yeah, I didn't know if I. I didn't actually check to see if there's any actual steel in it. <laughs> you didn't want to look at it. No. Oh, you've been a good boy. Would you like to chew on a candy? Oh, thank you. Cut them They're seat. all yours. If you if sit there and be a good boy the whole time, boy. you can have them all. You are being super oh, brave. Oh, such well, a big like, I'm boy. Glad I yeah. got Mum wanted to get the cut as clean as possible as the streets here in Sarong are pretty gross and a rusty door was the cause. So we were on a mission to flush it out as much as the captain could handle. Um, I think, I think that looks pretty clean. I might just flush it one more time. You're having a great time, aren't you? Chew oh. that little milky bar. Pluggy, chew that pluggy. <laughs> I know. Do you need a cover cement? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Can you get into colouring in or something? Yeah. It's so. Lifting up, it's not joining properly now. That's why I well. caught up. I looked at it. was flapping before. <laughs> um, I really think I should lift that, you think? Okay. Very hard. That's a great distractor. <laughs> <laughs> Try not to move, babe, please. Why? Oh, there's just bits. There's just a little bits in there. Stop. Dr. Sarah and Nurse Matt over here. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, honey. Alright, Phil. An extraction happening. No, there's no extraction. Yeah, yeah. Just doing the final oh, clean. Oh, oh. No, it's green paint to this leg. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Look, yeah. Andre, I've found the best extraction. Yeah. Oh, you reckon you should stitch it, Bella? Yeah, I can do that. I don't know. I think it might be right. It's, it's not. It's a flappy cut. It's probably going to die. That, that skin's probably going to come off. And it'll yeah, but it, when I moved it just now, it's not. It's not too. It's kind of joined back. Is that? I would, oh, he's got his ear poking We should draw a smiley face with two eyes. <laughs> we got the easy stitch, so we thought we'd give it a go. Ali's going to have a crack at it. <laughs> we don't have the proper needles, so we're just going to use this today. It's fine. And, hurt a bit. <laughs> Hold still, babe. You might want to clamp down on something. <laughs> well, it's not going to hurt us. Do you want to try and put the on? I'll push it that way. Oh, I'll hold that way and you pull it. Yeah, that, yeah. Let it come to me a bit. It's sort of pulled it a bit, eh? You don't have one there, I reckon. Alright, so we've all bandaged up. Whoa. Got some butterfly clips on there because he didn't want to be stitched. Did you find that he did the crap? Yeah, there was bits of stuff in it. Little bits and pieces, but it's all out. But it's super clean now, so oh, you're you okay. You up. did really good, baby. You didn't even flinch. You're pretty tough. Yeah. yeah. Just like little bits of dirt. Tough as nails. Tough as a female rusty door. Oh. Yeah. Is it alright? Is it sore? Thanks, Matt. Oh, I tell you, very good. Guys. What a team. 
Can't yeah. be a bit sore. <laughs> we have got, this is not even oh, close. They lugged back a whole heap of stuff, so. <laughs> That's a lot of stuff. And yeah, no, we didn't film it because we're useless. Sorry, guys. So we've come back into town for a quick, a quick, a really quick, brief stop. So we thought we'd be here for a day or two getting um, provisions because we just needed food and fuel. As usual, this is where this guy ends up. Even with a cut foot, he's all bandaged up. He's okay this morning. It was a bit sore, wasn't it? He's a bit sore, but he's uh, still going at it. Um, what we've got here is our alternator is not working, so he's uh, pulling the alternator out, which just in itself is a little bit of a feat. So he's doing that, and we've got a, another alternator. And he's going to put it in. If there's no trouble, it should be easy, but fingers crossed, guys, because we are planning on leaving today. We'll see how we go. He's dreaming of the day when this isn't his engine bay. <laughs> Dad switched the new alternator in with no problems and we headed to an island close by. Rainy day here at Yef Yefman Island. Uh, we came yesterday from Sarong, it's only seven nautical miles away. We don't let the rain get in the way of a good time. The kids are out there scurfing and they're having fun. So yeah, it's rainy. We haven't really got off the boat and seen Yefman Island, but we are here. There's supposed to be a good dive. There might even be a little wave here. So pretty excited and hopefully to the weather starts to clear up and we can show you a bit of Yefman Island. Was super strong there. Something oh, that's me. That was definitely me. <laughs> All of a sudden, I felt something kick in. I was like, wow. So, we've just come over to Yefman Island. It's our uh, last afternoon night with uh, Evie and Chuck and the guys of uh, Carice. So, we've just come over here to check out the island. Have a little bit of a walk around. We'll show you Yefman Island. Like we're walking into the jungle. <laughs> Mum, I'm wearing a mask in a bush. <laughs> She's a good girl. <laughs> I see this big runway. Uh, whole area, the whole island is a big runway. This used to be the strong oh. airport. Oh, so yeah, once you get around the other side, it'll be in the middle. So I think if we just walk to the middle right now, we'll see the. Uh, Sophia. Sophia. I couldn't find much information about Palau Yefman other than the airstrip here was from World War II and was used as the main airport up until 2004 to fly into Sarong. 
Holy shit, he's all over that tree. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, the manacalapa. Careful! Hati hati! Calapa duro. Hard ones. How are you gonna open? See? How are you trying this? These are wow. awesome. Thank you, thank you. This is good. Oh, for me? Yes. Oh, wow. And what's your name? Irma. Irma. A lot of Spanish. Names. Yes. Irma Agnes. And it's pronounced like Irma, Irma. just like in Spanish. Yeah. You need to bring the pot. You get the coconut water. It's like wearing. Okay. Jalan jalan. The people here, as you can see, are super friendly and welcoming. The island has its own little charm. Could be. Let's see if it's got a shooting thing. Like, it is? Uh, I'm so smart. You are. I saw another one of those. That's they can put their guns out there. What? It looks like a rock. Wow. Because if you shoot at it, it's not gonna do anything. You can just kind of crawl into it. Kind of cool. Crawl in there. We are doing so much it. How do you get in there from the front? Hello. Are you crawling? Here, here, here. Huh? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Cool. There are bunkers everywhere. So I look up the information about this island, but these are from what? World War Two. World War Two bunkers. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> That's your umbrella. <laughs> There's another bunker. Bunkers are everywhere. <laughs> A beach. Yeah. Madu. Madu. Yeah. Yeah. Hello. Sore. Did you learn your English? Oh, in a Sorrow. company. Yeah. Very good English. Oil company. This is my wife, Evie. Evie. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Namasaya, Tara. 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 Yes. Tara and Sarah. Sarah. <laughs> Sarah. Sarah. <laughs> Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> like the runway? Who built the runway? Japan? For the airplanes? Yeah, <laughs> Bye. 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 Bye.
Sarah. Miss Sarah is popular. I look pretty. Hi, ladies. <laughs> Chris was heading south and us and Nalakai decided to stay up this way a little longer. As always, it's sad as we part ways with friends and this was no exception. We had an absolute incredible time with you guys. Thanks for the dance moves, laughs and epic memories. Let's make footprints in sand. Let's make miracles come home. Until next time guys, we'll miss you, but hopefully we'll get to see you somewhere around the world.